Hello everyone! My name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you the second part of my new PPT lesson, Natural Disasters. This lesson is designed for grade 5 and 6 learners, but if you have strong students it can also work in grade 4. In this lesson, students learn about two more natural disasters, tsunamis and earthquakes. Learn what to do in case of an earthquake and play a fun game that summarizes both lessons. I make these PPTs because they helped me a great deal in my classes, but please remember that technology is just another tool not a destination. Good teachers should be able to teach everything they know with a pencil in an empty field. This PPT lesson is available for sale in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. To download it, please follow the link above or click on the uh, link in the description below the video. Please note that both lessons are available as a bundle, which you can buy at a reduced price. All the links are in the description below the video. Natural Disasters Lesson Number two. As always, I have skipped uh, the class rules because they are the same in um, every single of my lessons. And since uh, this is lesson number two, we are going to start with a revision, review. So the first thing you want to ask your students is what did we learn last week? And uh, they need to reply Last week, we'll learn about four natural disasters. What is this? First, uh, elicit it from your students. They need to tell you that this is a thunderstorm, and then they need to give you a definition of a thunderstorm. A thunderstorm is a storm with lightning and thunder. What is this? It's a hurricane, and a hurricane is a huge storm with strong winds and rain. And you do the same for the uh, tornado and for the volcano. And this is the beginning of the second lesson. So you tell your students that thunderstorms, volcanoes, hurricanes and tornadoes are bad, but they're not the worst. What are the, what are the two worst natural disasters? Here's what you ask. And you can brainstorm a little bit uh, with your class before you reveal the answer. Uh, tsunamis and earthquakes are the worst. And they happen when land moves. Uh, natural disaster number five. Tsunami. What is it? Here's the, de uh, here's the definition. A tsunami is a lot of very big waves in the ocean. Do you want to see it? Let's see it. About 9 out of every 10 tsunamis happen in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the Pacific Ocean this phrase is hyperlinked. If you click on it, it's going to take you to the slide um, uh, which displays all oceans of the world. So you can go through the oceans of the world and also you can show your students where Pacific Ocean is. And then we go back. Um, most tsunamis happen because of a big underwater earthquake. And um, on the next slide, you can explain how it happens. So you can tell your students that uh, first land moves. An earthquake is the shaking of uh, uh, the Earth's surface. So it happens when land moves. 
when land moves it creates a big wave it pushes water up which creates a big wave and then uh, this wave travels to the shore and it becomes bigger as it gets closer to the shore pop quiz here's you invite a student from each team and they take part in a pop quiz the winner gets a point so here's question number one how fast is the tsunami wave the correct answer is 800 kilometers per hour fast then you invite the next pair of students and here's the next question tsunami is a japanese word what does it mean is it a super wave is it a big wave is it a harbor wave or is it a sea wave the correct answer is c tsunami uh, means harbor wave the next and final natural disaster for today is the earthquake what is an earthquake you ask your student and here's the definition an earthquake is the shaking of the earth's surface and again would you like to see what it looks like let's take a look <laughs> Then you show these uh, pictures to your students and you tell them or you can ask them why do you why do you think earthquakes are dangerous and the answer is right here earthquakes are very dangerous because they can make buildings fall down and that hurts a lot of people pop quiz uh, a student from each team here's the question uh the 2004 indian ocean earthquake was the longest ever recorded how long did it last and here the correct answer is b 10 minutes and here you can tell them that normally earthquakes do not last for an hour if they did everything would be you know destroyed you can you know explain a bit uh more about how earthquakes work and here you can finish it uh, by saying that i hope you will never have to experience a natural disaster everybody please stay safe and happy then we proceed to the next part of the lesson uh, here's the question do you know what to do in case of an earthquake here you can have a group discussion or uh, you can have a whole class discussion it's really up to you how you want to do it um, i usually do it as a group discussion so i put my students into groups they discuss it in groups and then each group presents um, the solution or uh, what we need to do in, in case of an earthquake then we're gonna watch the video <clears throat> and answer the questions so let's take a look at the video if you are at home or school and think the earthquake is happening drop cover and hold on first drop to the ground take cover from falling objects by getting under the table cover your head hold on until the shaking stops And then when we finish, we have a pop quiz, a student from each team. Question number one. If you are in the classroom, what is the first thing to do? The correct answer is B, drop to the ground. So hopefully uh, they were able to uh, get this information from the video. So uh, this pop quiz checks uh listening and reading comprehension 
Question number two, if you are in the classroom, what is the second thing to do? The correct answer is cover your head. Then question number three, if you are in the classroom, what is the third thing to do? The correct answer is hold on. And question number four, what must you do if you are outside? The correct answer is B, move away from buildings. Uh, here, your students need to write down the sentences in their notebooks, which completes uh, the lesson. Oh, by the way, here's a little mistake. I need to uh, fix it. it it's supposed to be five and six, because in this book, in these two lessons, we'll learn about six natural disasters. All right, congratulations, you have finished the book. What do you remember? So I have made a very simple game to check comprehension. The students need to answer uh, six questions from one to six, so they travel on this map. First, they need to answer question one, two, three, four, five, six. These questions are designed in such a way that uh, uh, they, 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 they cover the whole book. They cover two lessons. So let me show you. You'll click on uh, question number one. Here we go. What is the title of this book? And the students should be able to say the title of this book is Natural Disasters. Of course, you don't show the answer. First, you elicit it from the students. And then when you click next, well done. You've got food and water. So it's like a survival map, you know. So uh, they don't get points, but they get some things that they may need um, if a natural disaster happens and they are out in the open. All right, let me show you one more. Number one disappears. Number two, here we go. Who is the author of the book? And they should be able to say the author of the book is Teacher Val. You click next and well done. You've got a flashlight. So these items are something extra your students can learn, which is also, I think, a great thing in the lesson. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna show you the rest, but uh, on the next slide, you're gonna practice a dialogue or this could be a mini presentation. Let me show you what it looks like. These are the questions your students just answered. Uh, what is the title of the book? Who is the author? What is it about? How many natural disasters did we learn about? What must we do in case of an earthquake? And what did you learn from the book? So now you can put your students in pairs and they can practice this. You know, once you didn't ask the question, the other one answers. Or you can ask them, and this is an option, you can ask them to do a mini presentation. All they need to do is to answer the questions. For example, the title of this book is Natural Disasters. The author is Teacher Val. It is about six natural disasters. Um, we learn about natural well, we'll learn about six natural disasters uh if we are indoors and we think an earthquake is happening we must drop cover and hold on i learned about uh six natural disasters and also i learned what to do in case of an earthquake something like that you know uh this gives a good structure for a book review you can actually finish with a sentence i give this book four stars or three stars or five stars i think it's a good read or something like this again you're a teacher it's up to you how you want to do it in your class and you finish this lesson by writing the sentences in the notebook which is optional but I think it's important that your students write it down so they can read it at home and also take a note is important for exams. This is it. This is the end of the class. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on. This way you will never miss a single upload and help your fellow teacher grow his channel. A shout out to my patrons Martina and Peter for their love, care and support. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.